Hey guys, it's Rick from Oxford Electronics. I'm just doing a quick video here to address the issue we've been having with the IPTV. When you load it, it opens and then it doesn't do the loading portal or the loading bar. It just goes right to a black screen after a couple of seconds. Uh, what this issue was is the servers on the other side of the world, wherever they are, where the TV is being hosted was hacked and they shut down a bunch of the accounts, not all of them, just quite a few of them. So some people may experience the black screen, other people it's just gonna work just as normal and they may not need to make this update at this time. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is just kind of go over how to do the update really quickly uh, without having to bring it in or give us a call. We have about 300 clients, so this is gonna save a lot of time if you can try to do it on your own first. And then if you still can't figure it out, you can give us a call and we'll try and walk you through it over the phone or have you bring the box in. Uh, we're not going to charge for this service. This is just something that was unexpected. It's an inconvenience to yourself and also to us. So we're not going to you know, have any fee to do this update and fix this up. Uh, if you want to make this experience the best, I recommend you plug in a computer mouse. It's going to make navigation super simple. Or you can also use a trackpad if you purchased one from us with the full keypad and the trackpad. And then lastly, if you have like the remote that came with your box and it's just the up and down arrow for the cursor, those are going to be a little difficult. So I would recommend maybe just temporarily plugging in some sort of computer mouse just to do this. It's going to save you probably another 10 minutes of time. All right, so I have a screen loaded up here. It's just the main startup screen when you turn on your box. Yours may vary a little bit, but all of the steps here are pretty much the same once we get into the IPTV program itself. It all looks the, identical on everyone's box. So we're just gonna go into the IPTV itself, wait for it to load, just so that you know everything's gonna be there. You might just get the black screen, that's perfectly fine. And then you're just gonna double click on your screen with your mouse, like your left mouse button, double click, and it brings up this little overlay menu you see all the way around here. Now it does go away after a few seconds, so you have to be quick with your navigation. And you're gonna go up to the three bars in the upper left-hand side, and then click on Change Profile Data, the first one. Once you're in here, uh, the profile name is not super important. You can make it really whatever you want, but we always set it as the word gold so that we know that this is the service that you're on. Okay, so you just click that. You can change it if you want to, to whatever you like, and then click OK. Next thing you're going to check out, and this is the one where we need to make the major change. And this is basically just a web address in here under the portal settings. So I'm just going to go back one menu just to show you where I got that. So we're gonna to go to the second one, which says portal settings. And then this first one is the one we need to change. It's called portal URL. You'll probably see something like this, the HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash 256.goldtv.biz. So we're just gonna click on that there. And it's gonna bring this up so you can make a modification. Now you don't need to delete all of this. You can delete just a certain portion. You can go and just delete the 256 part. I'm gonna do this on my keyboard. You're probably going to get an on-screen keyboard and if you have a trackpad one with the keyboard below it you can also type on there so there's different ways to input this but the key is we want to make sure we get the letter p the number one the small dash okay there's a larger dash you may see if you have the on-screen keyboard make sure you're doing the small short dash if you want to change that sometimes you have to click the number buttons or click the the, sometimes even the language button just to get the small dash and not the larger one. Otherwise, it'll make a double dash when you leave here and it won't load. It'll just say host not found in a big blue screen. So you'll basically know you, you might have got it wrong. I, I might even do a demo of that to show you. So we got the P1 dash and then edge, E-D-G-E -E dot gold TV dot D-I-Z. Okay, so you should see this exact line. You need all of this here, the whole thing. If you deleted it all, make sure you write everything back. Okay, and then we're gonna click OK. And then we're just gonna back out. And it's just that easy. Once we back out of it, and then we go, we're gonna refresh, reload the portal. Okay, so that again, the double click, and the click up here, and then the reload the portal is gonna refresh it. It's just literally like a website, so you're just reloading that page, and it will reconnect you. Okay, and as you can see, I went from the old address, which still worked on my account, to the new address, and it's still working on the new one. So anyone with a black screen, this is going to fix that problem. Now I'm going to show you if you accidentally type it in wrong. So let's go and uh, change that again. I'm just going to show you what it'll look like. 
but we're just going to pretend that we entered the dash the wrong way. I'm just going to put two dashes so we'll know, okay, that that's the wrong one. We'll go okay. We're going to go back out. And we're going to reload the portal. See, now it says host not found. This is not a real address. So basically, it's just like saying a website's not there, like error 404. All right, I'm just going to put that back so that's on the right one. Now, if you have any problems with this, you can feel free to give us a call or a text. Uh, I won't be available until the regular business hours, Monday to Friday, 9 till 8. So that's why I wanted to make this video so that we can just refer to it over the weekend. And then we can address the rest of the accounts uh, in the coming week. All right, our phone number here is 226-242-6543. Or you can email us at support at oxfordelectronics.ca. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Sorry for any delays. If it takes you know a full business day to get back to you, we have 300 clients. This could take a while to get through all the accounts that may be affected. We're not sure yet. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.